Now that you have that understanding, let's go ahead towards the Eve NG website and download Eve NG community. Plus, we'll be downloading VMware Player. So let's go towards their website. So it's uh, first of all, I'm going to go google.com and Eve NG. I'm going to type in um, in the Google bar. Okay. Uh, so I could just go ahead for the download and sometimes, oh, okay, there it is. So as you can see, we have our Eve NG professional version and we have the free Eve community edition. And we also have some clients that we need to install. And that is because problems come up when you have secure CRT and stuff and you want different devices on separate tabs on a secure CRT, things like that, okay? And many other things like VNC players. Okay, uh, so so this is the professional edition. Uh, this is around about one hundred and seventeen dollars, if I'm not wrong. Um, so we're not going for that. We need a license for that, and that is only for one year. Okay, so we have to renew that license again. And I'm thinking about buying it. Okay, uh, so so uh, there's a free Eve Community Edition that we're going to be downloading. Now you have OVFs that you can download from Mega and from Google or an ISO file. Now my recommendation is always going to be OVF because it has all those necessary settings that you need. And we're going to be using VMware Player to run this. So here is the download link for the VMware uh, Workstation Player as well. Now I'll just open that new tab. So I already have this downloaded. Um, Specifically, what's going to happen is going to direct me towards a Google Cloud, which is not available at this time. Maybe it will be on on this uh, mega link. It happens sometimes. So uh, I think it is available on the mega drive. Hmm. It's opening. Okay, I accept all cookies. There it is. So you can download it. It's 1 .1, uh, 10 GB in space uh, so um, I'm not sure what the problem with, with this is and I'm even not sure what the problem with this is why isn't the download player working it is now it is now okay it worked automatically uh, so it's really easy to download VMware player as well you just have to go towards the VMware player and go to downloads there's no login required so you just go hit the download and I hope you have a 64-bit operating system if you're on Windows and also they have a version for Linux. So just download this and it'll start downloading right away. I already have these guys downloaded and if I do a see more here in the download section, uh, I'm just going to cancel that because I already have it. I'm, I'm going to open the folder where I have that VMware player and I also have this if community downloaded. Okay, so uh, over here. Uh, so I already have that downloaded. So let us just install the VMware player first and then we will um, deploy the OVF file on it. So going towards our VMware player 16.1.2, go ahead and install that. And it starts installing. All right, next. Accept that, next. Uh, okay, yeah, next. Mm, I don't really like these updates and anything. Next, desktop icons, next, install. So as it does install, uh, if you have this open, these network adopters, if I'm not too late though, maybe I am late, uh, you will see uh, two adopters pop up. Uh, one is gonna be VMnet 1 and one is gonna be VMnet two, uh, 8. Uh, these are the default adopters that VMware workstation and VMware player has so I just did a refresh because they were just installing those adapters so you have two of them right now which you will be using uh, to connect to your VM machines adapters are going to be covered in the third lecture of this kind of series that I have on EVNG okay so that is done now it's going to ask you for a license now you don't need one Okay, people may get confused that, hey, this is a licensed thing, so I can't actually use it. It's not that, okay? So just hit uh, finish. And once you uh, open up this, this is uh, the VMware Workstation Player. 
once you open this up it's gonna ask you it didn't ask me here because oh no I had this VMware installed already I'm sorry I'm gonna remove this I'm gonna remove this uh, wait a second uh, basically I tried this and it's gonna give you a pop-up that is it for non-commercial use only once that pop-up comes up you have to select that okay uh, so in that way you can only run one virtual machine so it is a non-commercial use so they don't actually need a license from you so let's go and try to create a virtual machine now uh, so I'm gonna um, open that OVA file that I downloaded for Eve and G community so open that and there it is uh, we have our Eve community that com stands for community selecting that now it's gonna ask me for a storage path normally what I would consider is that you should have that path specified in the D drive somewhere in the D drive like in this VMware workspace okay so let's do an import so I'm gonna change the name first of all like Eve DN community okay so import now it's gonna import is gonna take some time and we'll be right back okay the Eve community has been imported into VMware workstation player and as you can see you have some options you can edit the virtual machine settings so if I go in it's kind of like the same in the VMware workstation pro in which you have a licensed uh, version of it as you can see you can change the RAM to like 16 GB if you want I mean depending on what are you gonna be running on Eve NG Pro uh, Eve NG community sorry 50 gigs of uh, hardest is okay for me everything else is fine I actually have to show you some adopters settings that it has already configured out of the box so it's set to bridged mode automatic now normally there's an issue uh, let me just check this configure adopters now uh, these are the automatic bridged adopters as you can see there are a lot of them apart from the adopters I showed you which were VMnet 1 and VMnet 8 all of the other adopters are shown over here so for my experience what I have seen that it doesn't work really well if you leave it at automatic my other adopters are also up apart from my Ethernet connection uh, which is my LAN connection so I won't actually opt for uh, the automatic bridging I would actually um, unconfigure all of these and leave it at one bridged interface which I know has internet access or has LAN connectivity it depends I mean I usually don't go for the bridging part because that would mean that I need internet access and I need to plug in my LAN cable that that interface should be up in order for this even you to get an IP address so what I normally do is I go into customs and I say okay I'm going to be using this VMnet 1 which has a DHCP server running inside of it so I'm going to be selecting that and I'm going to say okay and once I uh, hit power on it's going to get an IP address now the IP address is going to be from VMnet 1's adopter subnet and if you can see this is 192.168.126.0/24 now here you go uh, your EVNG is ready uh, you can actually um, get your browser and you can type in this IP address now 192.168.126.128 now the default username and password are admin eve so here is your file manager in which you have your lab files and you have many other options actually uh, that you can explore but what we're gonna be doing as of right now is we're gonna stop this video right here and next what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna show you how to install a router which is VIOS and a switch uh, that is VIOS L2 so I'm gonna be showing you how to do you install that I will leave the link in the description for specifically these things that I did in this video I basically downloaded um, VMware uh, player 16 and I downloaded EVNG I'm gonna be leaving those links in the description but the main thing is the second lecture that we're gonna be going through in which I will install 
um, the router and the switch. And one thing I have left out on purpose is that client. Because I want to show you if you don't have the client installed, what's going to happen with your sessions if, for instance, you're using Secure CRT. Well, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.